in one minute wherever you are viewing across the nations of the earth i'd like you to open your mouth and begin to place a demand upon specific graces that will be required for your next level of kingdom assignment you may be a, you may be a minister watching from whatever nation this country this city i'd like you to open please forget about the humanity of this man standing before you and focus on the grace and say lord there is a grace you never send people without that spiritual equipping Please open up your mouth and pray. Let your heart be desperate. There are specific graces. There is a grace for influence. There is a grace that makes a generation hear your voice. Just because you have something to say does not mean a generation will listen to you. There is a grace for consistency that sponsors your stability. There is a grace for signs and wonders. There is a grace that provides stamina. Please pray. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the grace that produces encounters. This is an office. It is not a mantle. Now this one I can tell you by the privilege of the election of grace. I cannot boast of having all the guilt. I cannot boast of having all the keys for administration and excellence but i can show you the path to encounter i know how to help men find god it's a grace and i want to release that grace the grace that drives men to hunger after god ah. in the name of jesus the christ of god i stretch my hands to our viewers in the studio and all across the globe pastors business men and women of the gospel those who love jesus and continue to serve his purposes in the name that is above all names may that grace that makes for encounter may that hunger that drives men to the secret place the hunger that prioritizes god above ministry above religion above above money may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus let it come upon your ministry let it come upon your assembly in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ there's somebody watching me from Uyo. Your name is Adams. I'm seeing you sit on a couch. Your name is Adams. You are watching me from Uyo. In the name of Jesus, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you right now. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's shifting you into new dimensions in the spirit. You are stepping into new levels by the supernatural power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm hearing a name annabelle annabelle you are watching from the uk annabelle in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that that anointing is resting upon you now by the supernatural power of the holy spirit by the supernatural power of the holy spirit now i'm seeing the lord is showing me a vision and i'm seeing a woman there are two bottles of anointing oil in front of you you are on your knees lifting your hands just to receive there are two bottles of anointing oil i'm seeing the, the power is not really in the oil it's not the ritual of the oil but because your faith has connected to this i'm praying for you from here in the name of jesus let the grace for speed come upon your life the second grace that i want to release is the grace for speed listen there is a real grace for speed and the hand of god came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jizreel 
there is a grace that can make 10 years be compressed in one year it is a grace in the name of jesus the christ of god the anointing of the spirit is coming on this lady in the studio that lady on her knees i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on that lady and the lord is saying he's activating prophetic psalmistry this is what i'm hearing in the spirit prophetic psalmistry you're going to begin to receive songs from the spirit they will come in dreams dreams not songs that you have written songs by the spirit they will come in dreams i decree and declare upon men and women some of you are in ministry for many years and you're saying apostle i've done my best i've worked in character in integrity i'm serving the purpose of god with all my heart i love jesus i've given myself to sound reason it looks like there is no speed help comes you i stretch my hands in the name of jesus the christ of god and by the privilege of the election of grace i decree and declare upon you in the name of jesus speed to your endeavors speed in ministry in the name of jesus i command acceleration in the name of jesus christ because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows there is a grace for influence access to the loyalty of a territory access to the loyalty of a generation is a grace is a hear ye him anointing that compels all and sundry to acknowledge the dealings and the workings of god upon your life listen let me tell you this i believe pastor this is what i believe that there are many people greater than the apostle joshua selmans and all of these people scattered in the body there are people who have deeper revelations higher levels of passion than some of us but the challenge for those people is the grace for influence that hear ye him anointing is not there there are books that can change not in I, I don't mean it in a competitive way but there are sincere people that have they have they have dimensions that should be heard but you see them do their best they labor they labor and their influence never goes beyond the city you cannot promote yourself in this kingdom i told you that you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor must be conferred upon you by another in the name of jesus i speak to the body of christ by the privilege of the grace the kind of influence that your kingdom assignment may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ may that grace rest upon you now I want to minister strength by the spirit there are many pastors who are weary pastors are bleeding and crying the lockdown has caused a lot of things some of them have lost so many things there are many pastors who their churches are almost shredded into pieces right now and they are bleeding and they need the supply of strength strength the bible says strengthen with might in the inner man the Holy Spirit can use men to minister strength. I declare to you, for every man of God, every woman of God, right now under the sound of my voice, you are about giving up in ministry. You are about giving up in life. You are saying, Lord, if you call me, prove yourself. You've been crying, no resources to back you, no men to stand and lift your hands. The audience that will listen and acknowledge what God is doing in your life is not there. I minister strength to you right now. In the name of Jesus, I minister strength. I minister strength. Now, I want to pray for a special group of people. And this is a touchy area, but I'll just touch on the surface. There is no denying the fact that it is not only error that is in the body. There is also the reality that there is apostasy in the body. It's an unfortunate truth, but it's true. And I don't say this, I have profound respect for every man and woman of God in the body, but the truth must be admitted, even at the expense of our reputation. There are dimensions of apostasy and there are dimensions of outright godliness. 
and there may be many ministers especially young ministers who have found themselves under many oils many graces sincerely for some of them they may have found themselves either because of the loyalty of submission under many influences that have planted all kinds of things you received an impartation and after that impartation you knew that loss just came upon your life you are healing the sick but lost is killing you you are healing the sick but all kinds of things are killing you and there are people who began well sincerely but probably have found themselves in all kinds of things pride and all kinds of attributes of the flesh and even direct satanism there is always a way out it may not necessarily mean that you are not called it may just mean that you need the grace and the word that purifies let me tell you this while it is true that i don't advocate to fight anybody and tear anybody down and destroy anyone's work thank god all of us will be judged one day the bible says there there arose the living and the dead and god can judge people and out of the books you know the works of men and they were rewarded you see but then i must say this there are circles i'm speaking to you prophet many of you there are circles that it's time to get out of you must summon the courage in the name of jesus the christ of god don't fight them don't go around on facebook or uh, what they call it instagram destroying people no but there are circles sincerely that is time to wave goodbye for when he met gideon and gideon said why are we not seeing the miracles of our fathers he said there are idols idols that have replaced me paraphrasing when you destroy those idols when elijah wanted fire to come from heaven the first thing he did was to rebuild the altar again with the 12 stones representing the tribes of israel and then the next thing that happened was water came upon it water the cleansing of the word afterwards the fire was ready to fall there is a new wine that coming upon the body of christ let me announce it prophetically there is a wine that is not like the old there is the rising of many strange people many of them we may not even know them some of them are not even the joshua selmans they are still in the cave of adulam and god is walking them pruning them they are not on tv they may not be at conferences let me give you a word of caution run away from pride run away from dishonor run away from ingratitude i speak to my generation of young ministers and i repeat run away from pride run away from ingratitude run away from dishonor these are killers of grace but i want to pray and we're agreeing as an assembly maranatha lord come that dimension of you that was revealed from nigeria your privileged firstborn that rejected stone the one whose rivers divide we decree and declare prophetically standing in the name of jesus let there be a mighty army from this nation let there be a mighty army from africa let there be a mighty army from europe let there be a mighty army from the u.s in the name of jesus across the globe china asia the gulf nations father raise mighty men and women of fire men who will last men who will stand the test of time anoint them with such power may they be apostles and prophets of balance no exaggeration in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me pray the last prayer point the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and of angels first corinthians 13 says but i do not have love it says i am nothing the body of christ needs the message of love like never before this obsession about rejoicing over the downfall of people is 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 a, is is a demonic thing that is eating into the body faith hope and love in the 60s and 70s it was the move of the faith movement word of faith fathers great fathers in nigeria here i think i think pastor dele has done a beautiful um um what they call it now 
a beautiful presentation about the church in nigeria i i would plead with you sir if it can be made available on your website or wherever it is um let the people get it history holds the key to the future there is something about the past we need to know praise the lord and then the prophetic movement started in nigeria but it did not last so long because it was corrupted and it looked like god just withdrew it quietly that was the movement of hope that make it not ashamed it created a lot people began to prophesy and say there is a move coming the last move of god will be the move of love it was love not faith that died on the cross more than faith more than hope the pillars of revival for the days that come will be men of love not just men of prayer not just men of power the pandemic just became a messenger that better a season that was already on his way coming i assure you that things have changed the the indices that we used to measure success in ministry are going to change the, those we must redefine indices by new patterns given from heaven hallelujah and so it is important for us to learn young ministers hear me i have a word for you stop criticizing fathers stop insulting fathers now it is true respectfully speaking that god has granted grace to see certain dimension and there is nothing to be ashamed of i've said it again and again our children being biological children the mentees that were raised already seen dimensions that were not seen it's not about backsliding it is the progressive character of revelations no matter how accurate we are there will come a generation that will edit our limitations so we must attend as we manage the limitations of fathers we must do it with respect i know they are humans i know they have made mistakes i know some of them may not hold the kind of disposition of humility that will allow them to receive these things but let god be the judge your own assignment is to be truthful your own assignment is to see to it by the spirit that you are faithful because one day the same burden upon them is coming upon you too and I hope you will be ready to reap the harvest of the seed you are seeing. I do not want my name to become a closed door to my children. That they remember that Joshua Selman was someone who destroyed the body. Whenever we are doing what we are doing, think about your children. You are not successful until the lives of your children testified so. So I'm advocating a revolution of love now it does not mean endorsing evil don't get me wrong it does not mean we will not challenge things i, I open up my life you, you you see it here you can challenge dimensions but let us restore love back everything is useless when there is no love it says there remained this tree faith that moves mountains hope that make it not ashamed and love but it says the greatest the more excellent way of prophesying is to prophesy in love the more excellent way of teaching is to teach in love the more excellent way of posting videos online is to do it in love the more excellent way of correcting is to correct in love the moment you add love to anything love never fails i show you the cure to our failure Add love to anything that is already failing it will change the calculation love never fails